Photoshop has a new brush, it's called the Adjustment Brush. And in this video, I'm going to show you where to find it and more importantly, how to use it. I will be using a wildlife photo for this example, but don't be limited to wildlife because you can use this for any kind of photo or even artwork. So let's get into this video and check how to use this brush. Now to find this brush, first of all, you have to go into Creative Cloud and then go to Apps and select Beta Apps. And here you have to download Photoshop Beta. This brush is pretty new, so it's not available in the original Photoshop. It's only available in Beta for now. So probably soon it will be available in the normal Photoshop, but for now you have to use Beta because that's the only place to get it. So once you got there, download Beta and open up Photoshop Beta. So let's get into Photoshop Beta I'm going to use this photo as an example. This is a stock photo of a deer and I'm going to show you how to use this brush. So to go to this brush, go to the left side here at the tools, at the brushes and select adjustment brush tool. Now here you can see the settings of this brush. Here we can select the adjustment. So what I would do is I would use this brush to edit the highlights of a photo. So when I click on brightness and contrast, you can see here minus and plus. Plus is where I will add this effect and minus is to remove it and overlay is to show the area I'm brushing. So first of all, let's make a new layer on top of this one and let's make the brush smaller. And here we can also set the opacity. So what I would do here is I would zoom into this photo and look at the places where do we see some highlights. So you can see here we get highlights there, there, there. So let's start brushing these areas. I probably have to drop the opacity a bit, but let's first make one line like that and I can see it's really light. So I'm gonna drop the opacity already here. Let's do Control Z and go back a bit. And I'm gonna do this again with a lower opacity. So probably around 30. Now let's do it again. And now you can see it's a lot more real, right? So let's go around here, there. And now let's see if it does something. Yes, it does. And it makes this highlight even lighter. If you want to see where you're brushing, you can enable this overlay and this is even better to see the areas that you're brushing. But for me, I like to work where I see directly what I'm doing instead of making these lines. So I want to work like I'm kind of drawing on this photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these highlights and just brush on them like that. Let's do also there, all these highlights here around it. If I brush a bit too much on some areas that I don't need, I can simply remove it again with the minus here. So here, for instance, I pressed a bit too much there on the corner. I'll remove them again. Let's go to back to plus and let's brush a bit more. Also these highlights here. And let's make the brush slightly bigger here. I'm gonna do these also. There, there. Now here we can also see the settings for the brightness and contrast. You can increase these also to get better results. But for now, I'm gonna keep it at this one and just make sure I brush these highlights. Also here in the background, you can see the lighters reflecting there on the deer. I also wanna make sure those are popping out in the photo. And this way you can really kind of adjust these highlights. Let's zoom in here a bit. Now to get the best results, obviously you have to zoom in on all these areas like this. Let's zoom out again. I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller here on these edges just like that, maybe a bit more there. You can even go a couple of times on these areas to make sure you get all these spots. Let's do the eye, especially the reflection of the eye. These areas, you wanna brush those areas to get this nice reflection on the eye. Let's make this a bit bigger here and I'm gonna do it like this. Now let's compare before we had this and now we had this, you can see here these highlights are popping out. You can adjust these settings here also. So if you want to have more of this effect, you can increase this one, but be careful with this because when you're gonna overdo it, it's not gonna look real anymore. It's gonna look pretty fake. So when you edit wildlife photos, make sure you do it just a little bit to get more of these highlight, highlight tones. Now let's leave that one. Now let's move on to create a new layer. And this time I'm gonna brush again. I'm gonna enable the overlay here so I can see where I'm brushing. And I'm gonna slightly brush the background there, just like that. This way I can clearly see where I'm brushing. Just let's make this all kind of purplish from the overlay. And when I disable this, and then I go here to the settings, 
I can make the background darker. So you can see here, that's pretty cool to make the background darker while keeping it like a real photo. Now you can see I did a little bit too much of these layers, but let's put this in a folder and compare the before. So first we had this, now we have this. It looks like a pretty cool kind of edited photo. And that way you can use this brush pretty effectively, especially in wildlife. Now, the only thing this brush actually does is it creates a brightness and contrast layer. You could also do this manually, but this saves a bit of time for some people that are pretty new to Photoshop. For them, I think this is pretty cool because they don't have to remember the important steps. They can just take this brush and do the settings with uh, the settings here. And that's pretty much it. There's also a vibrance to get rid of some colors, hue and saturation the same, and some photo filters and black and white filter in case you want to make some areas black and white or add some photo filter to a photo. But I wouldn't use that, but for these two, it's pretty cool to kind of get the quick results you want. So that's it for this video. Try this out and you might want to use this brush on your own photos. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.